Five minutes. Okay, Mardo. So what? where are we in the process? What is this thing on the table? All right, this is on the table. Base unit, Ripro V2, assembled. It took 10 minutes with some talking to yep. get it done. You guys should be able to do this in no time at home. Yeah. And it was super satisfying to watch it all come together. For real. So what we're going to do now is these are the parts that came in the pro upgrade kit. So right. four pedals that you can use on the deck to situate your feet wherever you like. Um, two rockers yep. and two brackets. A little hard work kit. Yep. I'm going to flip the device, the uh, machine over and show you how I like to put together. This is the second production v2 rip row ever. ever the first one you just built it's over there all the neighborhood kids were just pulling on that thing um same set of tools that we used with the base model um number 13 socket or wrench. open wrench and a number five metric ratchet or simple hex key i prefer that yep um our hardware kit includes mm -hmm. simply bolts, nuts, and washers. Um, all the bolts are the same except for two. There are simply two bolts that are short. Those two bolts will attach this bracket to the rib here. That rib's got a nut that is contained in there, a pen nut, so that is part of the rib. Right, um, there so is. no tool needed from the backside. So much easier. I'm just going to drop that on and start the thread loosely. Okay, so I get some play. Yep. Reserve the other short one. Um, and then four holes. Yep. We'll accept the rocker and yep. try and align them, those holes up here. Yeah. Um, the last little tidbit is with this kit, there are is one washer per fastener joint. The washer goes on the side of the joint touching the plastic. So right. for these two, the plastic is on the side of the bolt. All these bolts are the same length, remember, except for those two. And I'm gonna slide that in right there and start this nut. Okay, and do one more with the washer on the bolt. And you're just putting it all in hand tight and then you're gonna torque it later. Hand back. tight, all these nylon lock nuts won't go past finger tight right. because of the nylon in there and that acts like a thread locker. Right. These other four, the um, the nut side the, the, is gonna get the washer because it's against plastic. The washer and the plastic, they're buddies, they go together. Buddies. So it's to prevent the head of the of the nut from digging into the plastic, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so let's get those on. Somebody left the handlebar. Watch out, watch out for the ah, handlebar. Ah, ah. Last one in. So now I'm going to go around and just kind of work my way around actually to get all of these tight. Yep. We'll get them all pretty close and then we'll do one final pass to snug everything up. How tight do these have to be? Um, these again, these will be like, um, you'll know when you start getting there and don't go much past, um, much past tight, right? Because the tighter I get, this plastic's going to give way. I am virtually there. I'm gonna give it one last little turn. like 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 maybe get get contact then an eighth of a turn. Get like contact that. and then an eighth to to a quarter. Of a turn. I think that's about right. Yeah. And then I lock actually there's enough the there's enough play in all of these that we can kind of just go around and do our our final pass all at once if we wanted to. So your preference is not gonna be crucial if you do a bolt pattern or if you just bang it out. Those of you who are receiving one of these on the first pass of orders that has this protective film on the deck, um, you may want to remove that film before doing this because um, you have to loosen these up to really get that film out. Right. And this requires two tools, whereas taking them off the deck, only one, because these pen nuts here are only mm -hmm. 
won't make you do anything more. Ratchet for the win, huh? Ratchets are amazing. I, I love projects like this. Kind of how I acquired all my tools is you'd get, you'd have one, you know, one set of tools and then you go do a job and you're like, man, a ratchet would be super helpful. And then I go get a ratchet. So if you haven't gotten a ratchet, maybe use this as an opportunity to buy yourself that, yeah. that ratchet for the And you're going to find a lot of reasons to use it probably. Yeah, oh, yeah they're right. awesome.